Hey my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. I'm doing great. I'm having a great day and I hope you are too. So what we're going to do today is I was actually reading about someone buried in the town of Palm Harbor and so that's where we're headed today. We're going to go see someone who when I read about her all of a sudden it dawned on me, hey she's depicted in a movie that I love. So I'm gonna tell you about her today. Her name was Millie Deegan, and she lived out her days in Palm Harbor, in the Palm Harbor area, and boy was she amazing, what a story she had. Let's go see if we can go visit her grave and pay our respects today. Days with Jordan the Lion it begins right now. Yes, I'm a pirate 200 years too late. Here we are. Curlew Hills Cemetery. I think what we might be looking for, because it's the uh, prayer section, I think it might be over here. But I saw online they have a pretty nice 911 memorial I would check out as well. They have a plaque on the ground here that says on September 11, 2001, the world changed forever. World history will mark this date as one of the United States' darkest hours, but we Americans will celebrate as one of our greatest tests. And that's what I had seen that made me want to pull over. You've got the two twin towers represented and a piece of the actual steel from it there, an eternal flame. I thought I should stop because we're going to be talking about Millie Deegan and Though she was, this has nothing to do with her story. The whole reason we know who she is is because of World War II and a similar circumstance of us going off to fight for freedom. And then going around the outside, they actually kind of tell the story of what happened on that day. Flight 93, of course, which we've been out to that site. That's, that's a very, very sad place to to be knowing what happened. They were telling me that uh, someone out here was just saying they have a ceremony every year for it. Here it says 2,606 lives are lost in New York City, the World Trade Center that day. I think this was the section we're looking for, Garden of Prayer says more things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. And I believe she's right over here. If you're trying to pinpoint the section, you want the one that has the big praying hands right here. I believe she is right over here. Should be right on the wall. Yes. Yes indeed. Right up here. Mildred Deegan. Mildred Deegan was known in her day as the female Babe Ruth. And she even hit a home run right in front of him. That's right, good golly, you know, you can't think of women's baseball, I feel like, without thinking of a league of their own. And when that movie came out, I loved it. I saw it probably a million times. And when I was reading about Millie, they told the story of her being a fantastic softball player when she was in high school. She was exceptional at track and field. And her father was a semi-pro women's softball coach. And so she ended up being a phenomenal softball player. And when she graduated, she even went pro. There was a pro league. She played for the New York Americanettes. And they had a game inside Madison Square Garden. And Babe Ruth was in attendance. And sure enough, she whacked a 250 foot home run, which by today's standards, you really wouldn't think that's a huge deal. But at the time, the only other person that had ever done it was Babe Ruth. And Babe Ruth was there, saw her do it. And afterward, they went and took a publicity photo together. 
Now what's cool is that as I read about her story, she played for several years as a softball player and she was known as, as I said, the Babe Ruth. She was a great pitcher, she was a great second baseman, she was a great outfielder, fantastic hitter, had a fireball arm, and when the war broke out, World War II broke out, and they decided to develop the All-American Professional Baseball League, they saw her play and she was one of the 25 girls from New York that were signed up for the team. And she did in fact play for the Rockford Peaches for 10 years. And when I heard about her story, I said, oh my God, she's Marla Hooch. That is who Marla Hooch was based off of, Millie Deegan, all the way down to her father being her coach. When the baseball league came into play, her father taught her how to play baseball and she was an exceptional baseball player. However, the second year of the league, she ended up actually giving up the winning run for what was the Women's World Series at the time. I mean, she was so exceptional for her day that the mayor of New York City, when the World Fair came around, he actually had her provide a hitting exhibition. And then in 1944, Leo DeRocher actually picked three of the women from the Professional Baseball League to go to spring training with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Now, apparently, they were allowed to ride on the bus and everything, but they weren't allowed to step foot on the field but apparently someone during a during like a practice game gave her a fungo bat and she was hitting and put on just an amazing display and leo derocher said if we were allowed to have women play she would no doubt be a dodger millie deegan played most of her career like 10 years of her career for the rockford peaches and then her last year she ended up bouncing around like four or five different teams and then ended up retiring at rockford peach i'll tell you how good she really was 1939, her average for the season was 406. And for someone like Leo DeRocher, he was like such a great figure for those times because even though, you know, baseball was segregated and they didn't let women play and all that, he was the one that stood up for Jackie Robinson when the other players came to him and said that they didn't want to play because they didn't want him on the team. He said he didn't care if, you know, an animal could play the game if it was good enough and he was allowed to have him on the field, then he was gonna do it. And so for him to tell her that if he was, if he was allowed to have a woman on the field, no doubt it would have been Millie Deegan, that's a pretty cool thing. And also to give you another idea of just how phenomenal of an athlete she was, when she was 16, she went to the 1936 Olympic tryouts for the javelin and came in second, but they wouldn't let her go because she was only 16. She wasn't even supposed to be trying out. And also when she was in high school, she was the known as the hardest thrower in all of New York City, like the fastest pitch in New York City for women. And actually I was just able to find Leo DeRocher's quote. <laughs> he said, if we run out of men, Millie will be the first on the team. And if she were a man, she no doubt would have been a Dodger. When Millie retired from baseball in 1952, she became a professional photographer and ended up working in Miami, North Carolina, New Jersey, and then she ended up working for Western Electric. And then following her love back to baseball, she became a 22-year coach of a semi-pro women's softball team, never letting the love of baseball leave her life. She ended up retiring down in this area and Sally passed away from breast cancer. So to help you find Millie, if you come out here, walk out to where the giant praying hands are and then directly turn around and she's just right inside here. So I mean this as a total compliment, but thank you for being the inspiration for Marla Hooch because I love that movie. She's got an eye like the magic. So someone online recommended I come eat here at Molly Goodheads, so I'm gonna. Awesome. I saw they have fish tacos on the menu today as a special, so that's probably what I'll get. Actually, I don't know. That, uh, that catch of the day looks pretty good. Blackened or grilled with caper butter sauce. Oh. So I'm not really sure if there was something specific you're supposed to order here, but I just saw that they're uh, special the day where the fish tacos, so that's what I ordered. This has got to be a mistake. Three gigantic tacos like that with beans, black beans and rice for $8.95? Really? 
It looks amazing. Whoever it was that recommended this to me in the uh, comment section, thank you. This looks great. Let's give it a little squeeze to get us going. Put a lemon on there. Okay, now I add a little salsa and sour cream so we can give it a try. Mmm, the fish is great. By the way, I've just been taking in their logo. Boy, that's really something now that you take it all in. Molly Goodheads. Well, my friends, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed our vlog on Millie Deegan, her amazing baseball career that she probably could have been one of the great female players in Major League Baseball, but we still don't have that going on. So really cool to come out and pay homage to her to see the 9-11 exhibit or the 9-11 tribute. And just thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye.